Hey everyone, it's Friday night and I wanted to make a recorded video. So I've been doing a lot of lives. Let me light this candle. Um, you know, I'm gonna just finish this pink one. Pink is for friendship. Friendship and um, I've, I like the pink because Well, pink's my favorite color too. Um, so we will keep that there. Um, so somebody, <clears throat> my voice goes at night cause I talk all day and it's a little raspy. Someone made a comment and said, why haven't I posted? I don't need these on. I need them when I read. Why haven't I posted videos in a while? Like recorded videos like I'm doing now. Cause I've been doing a lot of lives. Um, so my lives have a different crowd, well, wrong choice of words, viewers, fans, whatever you want to call my fans that get messages. Why haven't I done, done videos? When I do my lives, people just see me new people. So I've gotten a lot more subscribers and I love all the love. Thank you for my moderators that help me because I get the people that come in. I don't know. They're just... You know, I just got to block that out because I know there's people on here that really want help. And I do my best to try to um, answer your questions. So um, I don't always want to keep it on addiction. Um, if you're really struggling, um, again, I'm not a doctor. I just been through a lot in my life and I'm at the age and I'll be seven years clean and sober in January. So if I have new people on here, I, I don't like, I feel bad that I repeat myself, but if there's new people, that's why I say it. And, um, eating disorders, drugs, alcohol, sex addiction, gambling, anything into excess in your life is an addiction where your life becomes unmanageable, right? So. I feel I want to make self-awareness. So that is your mental health. What is your mental health? Your well-being. And you have to take care of your mental health in order to get the addiction in recovery. There's no cure. You don't go to the doctor and you have strep throat and take a pill and it goes away. Cancer, same thing. You're in recovery, like cancer-free. I don't think they say remission anymore. Cancer-free. I'll always be in recovery for my addiction. People relapse after 20 years. So I just wanted to get that clear. Um, I try to give the best advice. How did I get sober? I talk about that. Everybody has their own way of getting sober. I just talk about what worked for me. It may not work for you, it may or it may. So I'm going to, um, so the fr Friday night prayer, Heavenly Father, as the sun, sun sets on this beautiful day, we come before you with hearts full. Thank you for the gifts of this day, for the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the love we share. Lord, we thank you for the beauty that surrounded us today, the vibrant colors of the sky at dawn, the gentle breeze that kissed our cheeks. And the melody of bird song that filled the air. Your creation is a masterpiece and we are in awe of its magnificence. Thank you God for the moments of joy and laughter we experience today. For the smiles that lift, that lit up our faces and the warmth of friendship. Thank you for the challenges we faced, for they made us stronger and taught us valuable lessons. As we reflect on this day, we acknowledge our shortcomings and ask for your forgiveness. Help us to learn from our mistakes and to walk in your ways guided by your love and grace. As we prepare to rest our weary eyes tonight, we lift up those 
who are suffering and in need. May your healing touch be upon bringing comfort and peace. We also remember those who are lonely or grieving, asking for your presence to surround them with solace and hope. Lord, we entrust the night to your care, knowing that you never slumber or sleep. Watch over us, protect us, and grant us peaceful rest so that we may rise tomorrow to greet a new day with renewed strength and purpose. We offer this prayer in the name of their son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us, us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So that was long. <laughs> I'd like to just do that. Um, I, try, I can never do a prayer on my live. I want to start it off. And I can't because when I start my live, it just, the chat moves so fast and I can never do the prayer because then I get everyone saying, why aren't you answering my question? So this is when I could do the prayer because no one's, you know, I'm recording this. So that's what I'm going to do. Every Friday night, I will do the prayer because I don't do lives on Friday night. I'm going to get into talking a little bit about relationships. And I don't get, when I talk about that, it's not me in general, okay? When you scroll back down to all my other videos, um, I do talk about sex, relationships, and stuff. Um... And there, there are a lot of pin, opinions, and I ask you guys for your opinions and stuff. Um, so, what makes a good connection? Comment below, what makes a good connection? I'm going to stick with that. So I'm going to throw some things out, right, out from what I think. Um, the chemistry, right, um, good conversation. A lot of the same interests. So um, if you guys... A couple doesn't like the same things. How's that going to work, right? Also, you, your other person you're, that you're with, you're supposed to bring the best out in that person, lift them up. You want to see them shine. You want to see them grow. So say the one is having addiction issues. I'm just giving examples. You're not going to leave them, correct? If you truly love them. So I'm saying if you truly love the person, what makes a good connection? And you keep trying and you keep trying. So I know couples that their marriage was done, but that means they didn't love each other. He said to her, she said to him, so-and-so, let's do marriage counseling. 
and he didn't want to. So what does that mean? He didn't want, he didn't love her. He didn't want to make it work. So what you want to hear him say, or she say to him, honey, I want to do anything to make this relationship work, right? No one should beg over loving somebody too. It's not going to get that person to love you. Sometimes it's nice when I could just talk. I, I used to hate talking to the phone because that's what I'm doing. But when I do lives, I love them. But then it's like overwhelming because the chat moves fast. So if you guys have any um, thing to say under here, you could say it, right? And then or a, a video title that I could talk about. I want to get into psychology and stuff. It's a big thing because it's back to school. And um, remember, I wrote, I did a video on what is your purpose, and all these years, you know, sometimes you can't. People go to college when they're young, and then they don't really. They do it for four years, and then they they don't really know if that's what they want to do. So I got my hairdressing license right out of high school. Did it for four years, and then I was a nanny. My my salon. Boss, back when I was 22, when I quit, she said, nanny, what? I didn't want to do it anymore. Hmm. And then my life went to shit and all that. I told you guys all the story, but now I feel like I'm doing this YouTube channel because I want to help people. Because what I went through in life and I don't mind giving away free information okay. because when you go to like rehab, those counselors that really knock shit into your head and give you friggin' good advice because they live the life. You don't want a textbook therapist. But then again, because I'm if I went to school, I wouldn't be a textbook therapist because I went through it all. I'm not knocking them. That you know, I'm getting something here. You guys know what I mean, right? So it's never too late. So it's in the back of my head. But I think if I did it, I would want to work with ch child, children, adolescents, like in trauma and stuff. So. Um, don't ever feel like your life is hopeless and you can only drink or do whatever you're doing negative. And it, fear keeps people from getting sober. Okay, that's just what I want to say. And back to the relationship. Don't be afraid to be alone. I know I repeat myself a lot, but being alone um, is very powerful. Go to the movies alone. Try it. Go eat something alone in a restaurant or whatever. Um, you don't have to be in a relationship if you're not happy. Just to fill a void. And um, if you don't love that person. Ugh. I find like a hive or something. And now I'm playing with it. I'm going to go live tomorrow night because I don't work Sunday. So I'll be on tomorrow night. Like I'll go in at nine o'clock Saturday night. So I don't know. You know, it's Friday night now and I'm going to upload this now. So, um, catch me Saturday night at nine o'clock. So that's it guys. I'm going to end it. And um, like, share, subscribe. Love you guys. And I will see you Saturday night at 9. Good night, guys. Bye.